Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Basement version 0.5.3. The latest update here thus far. If you're enjoying the series so far, I would encourage you to leave a thumbs up and leave a like. It lets me know you guys are enjoying it, and it lets me know you want to see some more. Thus, I will produce more for the channel. Um, for now, let's actually get underway. At the end of last episode, we had a police brutality thing go down. They came down here to shake me down. I didn't have enough money to pay them off. So we ended up losing three vendors, which is pretty bad. So what I did here is I had to move my people who were training for combat, for my bodyguards. I had to move them back over here to be workers. So here's what we need to do. Since they're back here now, let me talk to Giovanni. Giovanni, you come over here. And let me talk to Bill. You come over here. Um, Steve, take over a stall. Norma, take over a stall. You guys take over the production of the drugs here. I almost want to get rid of the grow box for weed and do another atom stand because that was actually making us a lot of money here. Uh, the marijuana is actually pretty quite low. It's safer, but it's really low in general. We also need to hire another person. Do we have enough money for that? Doesn't quite seem like it, like we do. But oh, you know what? These guys were attacking somebody over here. Oh, they attacked them down here. Um, I could come over here and take over that spot, I guess. It's an easy one. It's a really easy one. It would be like the leftovers of what these guys did. You have two goons and a big guy here, and then over here you have through six of your workers as well. Hmm. Let me go ahead really quickly then, and... Oh, you know what? We have items and I haven't equipped them at all. So, you know what? Hold up, hold up. Steve. Let me equip you really quickly here. So, I uh, remember that the cops came over and we killed a cut. We actually killed all of them, even though they did a number on us too. But they dropped an electroshocker, which apparently, let's see, weapon damage is going to be plus two more damage. It's going to be a melee attack, but it gives them shock. There is a chance to immobilize the attacker. Okay. So, well, we could sell these items for money too. How about that? Pretty cool. Um, let me go ahead and just add that to Steve. And then, with Norma... We have a gun. Damage is 5, range is 1, 400. The simplest range weapon in this game. Okay, we can have a gun. Huh. You know what? I never even considered equipping these people, even though I know the, the option was there. But giving them weapons could definitely increase our chances against the goons more easily, huh? Let me equip you with that gun as well. Alrighty. And we have a couple of more items too, mind you. Um, for instance, we have... The consumables, a pack of white. It causes the body to work without fatigue to the limit. You know what? I don't really care too much about stamina because we have an area to, to um, rest up. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that one for a bit more money. We have this. A skill brochure that we got really early on and I never really checked into. But check it out. This gives us 20 more experience for damage, health, production, and stamina. And over here we have one for damage straight up, huh? If we sell these, it'll be 300 and... 150, so it'd be like 450 alone. You know what? I like the idea of all the ex experience though. So how about we use that on on Donna, I guess? Sure, why not? So Donna, let me give you um this one right here. Did that go up? I guess it did. Yeah, so you you go to equip and then you just use the person. Okay, I get you. Um, and let's give you the fighting brochure as well. Oh yeah, it did go up. Alright, sweet. Okay, so um, we need to hire one more person because we have an empty stall over here at the moment. I also want to get rid of this grow box and get another atom stand here. How much money do we have? 16? 16? Okay. Let me hire... Mm, I guess we'll go with... Katharina? Patricia? Apparently Patricia has... Um, let's see. Compared to Theodore. More HP, more damage. Production's low. Stamina is 0.9. Like, these people over here are your ideal vendors, or at least they used to be in the past, but ever since the updates, I'm not even sure that it's kind of, like, even point... It seems kind of pointless to keep them around, because I'd rather just have somebody that could defend themselves properly, you know? Um, so... Let me go with... I wonder if the production stat now applies to selling as well. That could be it. I mean, maybe, like... The production stat covers whatever they're working on. So not just making drugs, but selling them and every other stuff. Hmm. Never consider that one as well. That could be a possibility. Let me find a bit more then, and let's see. Production, oh, that would be the... Hmm. I should have probably hired the person I saw. Uh, we'll just go with Diane then, I guess. Whatever. So I'll hire Diane over here. And you should be able to take over this other stand, correct? Automatically, because there's nobody here. Yep, she got it. 
Okay, so we have somebody at every stand now. We have people producing. Let me go ahead and... Remember, this kind of put us in a bad spot because we were training people and now we have to start all over again since um, we have to hire new people, make some more money before it actually happens. Adam Stan, did I ever upgrade you? I did not. We have the money for the upgrade now. Production 200 is going to make you fa um, slower, or at least um, tired more often, but I do need faster Adam production, I'm going to say. They are attacking over here. They're going to take over this spot. Oh, that's the one that they initially started off with and I didn't follow up on. I considered it, but eh. They got one single dude over here. You know what? I could take care of one dude. Whatever, let's do it. Um, send... Send Steve over there. Now, assuming he gets there in time before the goon is produced, we should get another extra spot for free. Boom! Bitch! <laughs> Alrighty, you come on back. Did he just come in here and punch them? He just punched them once and he died, didn't he? That was great. I don't think we lost any HP. Yo, can I... Let me click on this, please. Game. Okay. Steve? Yeah, he didn't lose any HP. Perfect. Come on back, Steve. And of course, I'm taking these over, not because I want to do anything with them just yet, but just because I don't want the AI to expand. Once they start expanding, you're in trouble. Alrighty, so, so far, so good. We'd have to start all over, but that's fine. Let me go with the... I don't have enough money for another atom stand. Energy 10 for one. Do we have... No, we need to upgrade this first. And this will bring us up to 39 of 50. So assuming we get rid of the grow box for good, um, we would be able to get two atom stands. It produces slower and it's got the chance of exploding, but more money as well, which is something we could definitely use up here. Hmm... I don't think any of the upgrades actually help you with selling stuff for hire. Right? You get more junkies and customers this way, with the CCTV, and this gives you more stamina. No. I really should get, like, jack up the prices of drugs here. This only tells you, like, their value, how much they cost to actually sell. Mm, so we need 800 for another atom stand, correct? 800, yeah. I'm gonna wait for that one, so make a little bit of more, more money. Let's go into fast speed. I think Homeboy should have taken over that spot the moment he came back. Yes, everybody's selling something. Great. We're up to a thousand now. Go ahead and upgrade. Or not upgrade, but make the atom stand over here. So, we have that done. Get a bit more money, and then we hire... Actually, no, we don't have to hire anybody. You know what? As a matter of fact... Bill, just work over here. There you go. And... Once we get a little bit more money... I upgrade for faster production, which requires 800. Okay, so <laughs> we need a bit extra more money. Come on. Somebody just went crazy, but we did hold it off. Oh, they're attacking my other area over there. That's fine. You can take over. I don't really care. What do you mean? Oh, not enough power. Oh, right. So I need to... Oh, that explode. You saw it explode on this guy? Um, whenever they're close to dying, the scientists will need to go get some HP, though, so I think he should be fine for one more explosion. These guys will take over this area. It's only one goon. Oh, they're raiding my basement again. Ah, oh, the fucking popo! Hey, um, make money fast. Like, really, really fast right now, because, um, if they charge me over 1400 again, we're fucked. I mean, we do have guns and stuff this time around, so maybe we could hold them off, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, come on, please. Let me sell some more drugs, please, please. I'll pay you! Sell some more! I need to get over 1400 at least! I don't think we're gonna make it. No! 1900?! God damn! Alright, we electroshocked one of them at least. I'm not sure what the hell is happening. There's just too many, too much humanity that are happening. Oh no, we lost fucking people! Uh, we've lost all of our strong dudes? Really? How did the police do that? Oh. Oh, because they send an entire fucking platoon after me. I mean, we're not over yet. <laughs> I could just hire somebody and go back that way. Ugh. Fuck you, man. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but it's a lot more difficult now. Can you, can you take care of this for me, Lloyd? I mean, we have to start from the start. Look at all the... Eh, we got it back. 
The problem is Lloyd alone is not going to be able to sell all these drugs. So look at all these people here lined up for drugs. I don't have enough money. Well, I could hire more people right now, I guess. Um, Lloyd. Sell over here. Um, <laughs> hire more people. I guess this could work, maybe. Um, let me hire Oren and Doris. Take over stalls. Don't produce anything at the moment. Just sell. Just sell. Come over here and sell, and you come over here and sell. I'd be so surprised if we could somehow continue with this run. I thought it was over right now when we got overrun. I mean, we're gonna run out of drugs here pretty soon. We need to hire a producer for sure. We have Elizabeth here. The thing is that Adam takes a lot longer to actually produce as well. We could probably make it work this way. So we got two producers. They'll come down here, so we're gonna add them. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull this off. I'd be really surprised if we somehow <laughs> make it through. Oh, wow. We're actually coming back up. I mean, we lost the progress we made on the people. You know what? This is probably what they meant in the forums where they were saying just send. Like, I've been building up. With this new update, it seems like you're almost better off doing the whole scapegoat me method, which is what I read about. Essentially, just send people over here on occasion to whittle them down a little bit. And once you've whittled them up enough, you could essentially finish them off that way and keep hiring. And then just as long as you make money in the meantime, you can still survive. So, yeah, I mean, as you see, we completely lost everybody. Yet, here we are still producing properly, and we're almost up to 2,000 again. So, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Mind you, thankfully, we had other locations acquired for us to be able to hire Steve, who came over here and took out the base back for us. Otherwise, we were basically stun -ski. Huh. So, if that's the case, I almost feel like we should probably just make money right now, hire people, and throw them at the AI, and get rid of them completely. You know what? I think that's a good idea. Hell's the item production coming along pretty well, huh? We could hire three more people still, and again, we could just make those the scapegoats. Come over here and weaken them up for us, and that's about it. It's gonna cost us a lot of money to hire each one. Like, for instance, we could get a lead, just send them over there, make some money, and sell, send people over to take over the spots. You know? Now, the problematic one is gonna be down here, where we have two of these guys and two goons. Over here we have two goons and one guy, and then their main base has six dudes. I would love to grab their base over here, because they have a lot of acid. And they can move that supply stuff over to our base and sell that for money. You know what? Let's do that. We're almost up to 3,000 anyway. Hire Lee. Cruz. And Ralph. We're living dangerous, baby. Um, so, Oren, Lee, and Ralph, is that what I said? Who's doing what? You know what, it doesn't even matter. Let's go by damage. So, let me send Cruz. It's three people that we're sending, right? So, Cruz, Oren, and Ralph. Yeah, we'll send you guys to attack. They'll get overrun because it's six on three, obviously, but we'll weaken them a little bit. Lee is staying behind, so where's Lee at? Lee is going to be taking over the spot of a vendor, more than likely. So, what do we have here? We have two producers. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, just keep it down this way here for now. And you are selling over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And they'll die right now, but that's okay. We'll just weaken them up. I just want to take over the AI. If I don't have to worry about the AI, I can just focus on the cops, and that'll be a lot easier for us going forward. All right, so let's see how this plays out. We know the outcome already, but... All right, two guys down. We've lost one dude already. Three other guys are down. Okay. Oh! <gasps> no way! No way! <laughs> oh, what a baller! Ralph came through in the fucking clutch, dog! Yo, my man, you are a... Get your ass back over here. Let me reward you with, like, some hospital treatment or something. <laughs> I, just, I was expecting that to work. There you go. That's an easier way to deal with this shit. Why even keep the AI around? Just deal with them early on and you don't have to worry about it. Look, we're up to $3,000 already. We're going to start moving that acid. By the way, as you can see, we're moving acid over to us now. We'll be able to sell that. This is fucking ridiculous. Here I was in the middle of this episode thinking, well... I lost. I'm gonna start all over, and we've somehow even done better since we wiped out the last people that we had. I am shocked.
I'm quite shocked indeed. I like this game. It's really impressive. Even when, you're, even when you think you're done, it's like, no, no, you still have a chance, actually. Alrighty, well, over here we have two goons and then two little guys. Let me send Ralph over here. This is the, these are the people we're going to lose to, obviously. And then for these guys, we obviously then have to, for sure, weaken them over time. So that one we're not going to succeed on at all. Um, you know what, Ralph? No, no, no. Don't. You, you turn that off. You're not going to be doing that for us right now. As a matter of fact, um, let me get you healed up. And once I get you healed up, I'm going to send you over. I, I should hire two people right now. We're over 3,000 already. Oh, boy. Janet and... Come on, come on. Adolfo. Alrighty. So, heal it up, heal it up. I don't have any weapons, do I? What? That's what I should do. Hold up. I, I, well, no, no. We're, we spend a lot of money in hiring these people, so I was thinking... <gasps> no! No, the explosion killed... Killed somebody. Killed Elizabeth. That was a really high explosion. Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's the downfall when it comes to the explosions I talked about. Let's um, hire Theresa over here. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's send um, Ralph, obviously. I love Ralph because he won us at a fight over there, but let's be honest, he's going to be the best guy for the job. So I'm going to send Ralph, Janet, and Adolfo. Is that what we said? Yeah, at least the one who stays behind and sells, right? Yeah. All right, you guys go and attack over here. So Ralph, Janet, and Adolfo. All right, so you guys go over there, do your thing. How are we doing over here? Oh, look, we have acid over here now as well. Perfect. So the other scientist that we got is now over here producing Adam for us. Okay, good. Um, yo, dog, Jasper, let's get you some HP just in case the same thing happens to you. All right, so this one we're going to lose for without a doubt. I was considering equipping them with some items, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, we brought down one big goon. Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Now we just chill, make some more money, and then we send another group over here. Which we know we can obviously do. Alrighty. So, uh, oh, are they healing? Do they heal? I want to make sure they don't actually add more goons over there as well. So, maybe we should just continue the onslaught. We have two, Catelyn, Livingston. And I feel this one right here, we should be able to win this one. So let me send Nicole as well. So... Livingston's my... Or Lee's my seller, right? Catelyn? Well, actually, Lee is actually a better... A slightly better fighter than, say, Catelyn. So you know what? Let's go with Lee. Screw it. We'll send these people, and then Nicole could just um, rotate into selling instead. Right? Yeah. Do it this way. There they go. And you rotate into that one. Great. Oh! We all survived! <laughs> How about that? We got a sport helmet? Oh, sweet! Okay, great. Hey. Um, that's all that's left over here, isn't there? Two big goons and a small little fella? Okay. You know what? Let's get you guys... I could just send you to the slaughter, but you know, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not heartless at all. Come back home. Let me get you healed up. If that's the only AI left over, we could be fine, man. We could be really fine. What time is it? How long am I recording? Man, this episode's amazing. You guys, let's be honest here. Let's pause the game because I think we're done for this episode anyway. You guys thought for a second it was over, right? The police came over here. They brutalized my ass completely. My brutalized my tender ass, mind you. I'm just throwing it out there, but they brutalized me completely. Um, and we somehow came back, and somehow the AI is now gone. Jeez, man, we have balled it up completely. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us in the round. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support does mean a lot. Stick around for the next episode, where we will try to continue with our little, um, conquest of the entire area. Now, mind you, I have a feeling because we've killed so much, the next police brutality is going to be really, really bad. So we either have to have enough money by then, or we're going to have to fight it out with them. Um, we did pick up some items just now, so I will try to equip those next time around as well. So we'll see how that plays out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.